Governor Newsom says the state's economy will fully reopen on June 15th if certain criteria are met. Of course, San Diego County Supervisor Jim Desmond joining us this morning. Jim, thanks for taking the time. Hey, Raul, great to see you. Okay, so we're doing the, uh, the, the math here. April 7th, June 5th, that's about two months away. What is that transition going to look like for San Diego? And what do we need to do over those next two months to make sure this happens? Well, primarily, you know, it's, we're, we've gone into the orange tier, which is, which is a good sign. And that means, you know, our restaurants can go to 50% uh, capacities, bars can open outdoors, uh, museums, uh, movie theaters can open to 50% capacity, amusement parks can be open. So, you know, it, it, I think it's going to be great that many people and many jobs and people will be able to get back to work. We yeah. had a board meeting yesterday. A lot of people are, you know, having rent issues, things like that. So that's, and then, and for June 15th, though, that does also come with some caveats as well. We have to make sure our hospitalizations right. are down and are staying down. I uh, didn't really specify, the governor didn't specify what those numbers were. And that also uh, the vaccine was available. So uh, we uh, wasn't really specified. So there are some caveats. There still will be some, dis some restrictions. Uh, the masks will still be in place uh, in, in June fifteenth, but uh, yeah. you know, hopefully, for many of our businesses that have any, many have been shut down for more than a year, uh, we'll be able to open up and and uh, hopefully get people back to work and back to business. Uh, slowly but surely, you mentioned low hospitalization rates, but when you're talking about having sufficient vaccine supply, you know those supplies have been kind of uh, hit and miss sometimes over the last month or so. What's going to improve over the next two months to make sure this happens or it doesn't happen again? Do you guys have any information that the supply will be increasing as we approach that date? Well, we have seen more vaccine coming in mm -hmm. at, at, at more reliable uh, intervals. And plus, on April 15th, uh, the vaccinations are going to be open up to people 16 and older. So, I mean, the vast swath of the, uh, you know, vast majority of the population is going to be uh, eligible for vaccines. We may see a surge right that first week after April 15th when everybody's trying to make appointments and everybody's, we've seen that, you know, as, as each age group or tier opens up for vaccinations. There's been, you know, a little bit of a, a squeeze on the uh, supply, but after April 15th, after about a week or so of that, hopefully then it'll stabilize as far as uh, the number of people get, getting appointments and shots and the vaccinations will be you know, much greater. Right now we've got about over half of the people have had the first shot in San Diego County. Uh, and I think about 30% have had the second shot. So uh, we're, our, our vaccination numbers are getting, are getting better. Yep. Our hospitalizations, there's a little, been a couple of little upticks, but in the long run and the overall, uh, it, we've looked a lot better than we have in the past. I'll tell you what, yesterday on social media, when, when, when the orange tier became official, you could have sworn it was Christmas morning, the way people were reacting to this because of what has happened over yep. the last year. Uh, specifically, what is this gonna mean for reopenings? Because I know a lot of folks, you know, they're looking forward to June 15th, but then it's, like, it's baby steps. Right. So orange tier. Yeah. Uh, what does that mean for folks trying to reopen? Well, right now, the ones that can reopen in the orange tier, it's limited. And, and so, you know, uh, outdoor events and things like that are, are uh, limited to 33 uh, percent. Amusement parks are going to be limited to 25 percent. And so, you know, it's, so it's still going to be limitations. It's not going to be fully open now, supposedly by June 15th, uh, you know, so it actually gives people time if you have to order things or if you mm -hmm. have to get supplies in and things like that, that's a good thing. But, you know, it's it's some event, some industries like the events industries, you know, those oh, yeah. are going to be a little more complicated, uh, like street fairs and things like that. They're still waiting on their go ahead. So it still isn't fully open, but you know, there's a lot more light now coming in at the end of the tunnel. And we mentioned obviously that even after June 15th, you know, the masks are still gonna be a requirement. You still need to take those precautions. For example, San, I mean, the schools are going back to, to class in person next week, San Diego Unified, but even then uh, it's gonna look different, right? So, I mean, in terms of expectations, yeah. it's not like June 15th means it's gonna be the way it was a year and a half ago, right? No, that's true. I mean, it's not a light switch. It's going to be flipped on right. June 15th and everything's going to be different. No, and quite, quite frankly, consumer confidence has to really come back. You know, even though people may not, you know, choose to go out yet. And a lot of the, you know, the most vulnerable people, you know, 
50 or 70 or older, you know, may not have that, uh, you know, feeling of, of confidence yet they want to go out. So even though people will be able to do it, many probably won't. It's going to take a while, you know, for people to get back on airplanes and people to get on cruise ships, for people, to get, you know, willing to go to a concert and things like that. So I think it just... You know, the fact that it's on, people are still, it's going to take a little bit. And like, like you said, baby steps, even after June 15th, it's, and you know, plexiglass is still going to probably be up in, in uh, places just to give people a comfort level and hopefully, you know, make it, you know, so they feel safe coming out. So it's going to, it's still going to be uh, remnants of COVID after yeah. June 15th, for sure. I think for so many of us, I mean, look, this is the first time any of us have dealt with something of this magnitude and, and we're kind of, a lot of it, quite frankly, has been, oh, let's try to figure it out as we go. Uh, where's the stance uh, for, for the county supervisors and for yourself on these vaccine passports we hear so much about? Um, a lot of folks I've talked to are like, honestly, they don't know where they stand. Uh, do, am I against it? Am I for it? Can you have a 30,000 person Comic-Con event in November? without vaccine passport, if you will. Well, kind of explain all this for us, if you could. Well, the, as Board of Supervisors, we haven't really taken a position, but you know, my personal opinion is I'm not in favor of the vaccine mm -hmm. passports, um, particularly for, you know, for, you know, the public's got a choice. We aren't forcing this vaccine on anybody. And so you got HIPAA rules, you've got it with, with health in, as far as, um, you know, what you have to disclose and what you don't have to disclose. You know, private entities, private businesses may have their own restrictions, but I think it's going to be a little bit more difficult. Right. You know, countries may have differences on, on this uh, vaccine, you know, passport per se. But uh, here you've still got some privacy uh, laws in place that uh, don't allow that. But, you know, I think, you know, herd immunity didn't really mean 100 percent anyway. Uh, so I, I'm not in favor of the vaccination passport. But uh, I can see where some private entities may may choose to go that route. But, you know, you don't have it, we're not making people take this vaccine. It's not forced. But I think we've got enough people that are willing to take it. And, you know, there's there's going to be those that don't. But I, I think we're going to be safe and, and able to get out of this with the amount of people that are willing to take it and have gotten it so far and will continue to get it. Indeed. Uh, Supervisor Jim Desmond, by the way, I went to a Padres game on Sunday. That was the first kind of feel for me to what it's like to kind of slowly getting back into things and it, it was weird I'll admit it was a little weird but you know what we were at the ballpark and things kind of started to feel like it was the way they were before all this happened now yeah, it's a great feeling dad yeah get your freedoms back yes sir uh Jim Desmond thank you as always appreciate the time thanks Earl